everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt and this is Coffee and Makeup. Today we're doing an empties video and I have a ton of empties. I put them in this like particle board crate because I bought a particle board crate at Home Goods and then I was like, what does anyone do, do with the particle board crate? I forgot I couldn't decorate for crap. So this is how I decided to use it and we have a ton, a ton of empties here. So. I'm just gonna get started and I'll start with makeup because I think that's most people's favorites although for myself I think I like the skincare and like hair care stuff more but either way we're gonna start with the smaller makeup things and get those out of the way. I have two L'Oreal foundations. First I have the True Match Lumi in the shade W1-2 Warm and then I have the True Match Classic foundation in the shade W2 Light Ivory. If you have really dry skin I recommend that you try the True Match Lumi. If you have more normal skin then I would recommend the regular True match foundation but I loved both of these and I love L'Oreal foundations because they are organized by your skin undertones and I have warm undertones really hard to find um, foundations that match me in the drugstore so I love L'Oreal foundations and I would recommend either of these depending on your skin type then I have a mascara this is the Maybelline one by one volume express mascara I bought it because I really liked the name and I thought um, that it would probably separate the lashes really well and give lots and lots of volume but I wasn't that impressed with this mascara it was just okay and um, the only thing I really liked about it was that it kind of smelled like honey <laughs> which is weird, but yeah, I, it wasn't that great performance-wise, so I don't think I'd recommend this for anyone, and I will not be buying it myself. Next, I have two of these e.l.f. all-over color sticks. They're just like roll-up tubes that have blush slash highlighter colors inside, and they're cream products. I've had these for over a year now, and I noticed that they're starting to get some disconcerting green growth on them, so I had to get rid of them, although they're not used up. I really enjoyed these while I had them. They are great as like a highlighter on the cheekbones, and I just love cream highlights. I think that they are so much better than powder, but I don't think I'll buy them again because I don't want makeup that is like a Petri dish, and that's exactly what these look like now. So even though I enjoyed them, I did not like the fact that they started getting moldy. This is the Body Shop Concealer Stick in the shade 00. I used this completely up. It had a concealer um, surrounding a little moisturizing center, at least that's what I think it was supposed to be. And I enjoyed this for the first few months that I had it. It was very creamy and blendable, but as the months wore on, it got a little bit more chunky, chunky funky, and also the spinning, turning up mechanism kind of conked out on me, so it was really difficult to get the thing to actually wind up and wind down. So I don't think I'll be purchasing this again, but I do think that the Body Shop generally has pretty good makeup, and I found this to be an okay product. Then I have two mascaras. The first is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a sample that I got with the Christmas palette from last year, the Naughty or Nice palette, and I really enjoyed this mascara. It's perfect for darkening up the lashes so if you have a really volumizing mascara that you apply as your first coat and then you hit your lashes with this your lashes will look beautiful like false lashes I love it love the brush and the formulation is amazing it did dry out pretty quickly I felt but I still really enjoyed it and I think it's definitely worth the money and I'll probably buy a full size of this then I also have the benefit their real mascara when I first got this mascara and I first open it up and use it on my lashes. I got the most clumpy spider lashes and I was so annoyed because everyone, this is back when their real mascara was like the thing to have and everyone was like, oh my god, it's so amazing on Reddit and stuff and I was just a little put off <laughs> from how much I hated it but then I let it sit in my drawer for a while. Um, we were having a fight and so I was not using it for a couple months maybe and when I went back and it had, had some time to dry out, this mascara was amazing. I love the wand. It really separates your lashes. Like this is a kind of volumizing, lifting and separating mascara that you could use before the Too Faced Better Than Sex to get the most beautiful false looking lashes. So. I judged it a little too quickly, but I ended up really loving it, so my advice to you if you get this mascara is to just open it up and leave it sitting for a while before you try it and before you judge it. So next up I have what I would argue is a beauty empty. This is the Michaels Naturopathic Program Hair, Skin, and Nails Vitamin. I always have a hair, skin, and nails vitamin that I'm taking. I just bought this one at, on Vitacost because it happened to be on sale at the time when I needed one. And I liked them, I thought that they were fine, except they were really, really hard to swallow. But I really recommend that if you're growing your hair out or you're particularly concerned with your skin or nails, which is not the case for me, then you should try one of these vitamins. They're 
definitely worth getting. Now, quite shamefully, I just used up a Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Spray from the old collection. Do you guys remember this bottle? I don't even want to know when this was purchased. It's a little scary to even think about, but it still smelled good. So instead of spraying it on my skin, I started spraying it on my clothes before I would go out. And that's how I used this up. Um, I, am I the only one who has like super, super old body sprays? Sometimes I guess I just forget to use them. So anyway, I used this up finally and I was very happy about that. This is another vanilla body spray. This is the Vanilla Sugar Body Mist from Sensations by Body Source. This was a part of a gift set that my grandmother got me for Christmas either last year or the year before and I love vanilla scents so it was perfect for me and actually I felt like it smelled a bit better than the warm vanilla sugar smell from Bath & Body Works but it was just personal preference so I used this up and quite enjoyed it. I love to smell edible like some type of baked good so this was perfect for me and I loved it and speaking of smelling edible next up I have a body lotion coffee silky hand and body lotion by Dr. Sweet Tooth I talked about this shop in my best of Etsy video and they make so many great handmade body products on Etsy you can buy them or on their website and I have bought many a body spray and body lotion from this site. I love their coffee body lotion especially because it's really hard to find coffee scented body lotion. I don't know why, I guess I'm the only person on this earth that wants to smell like coffee, but I do and so I buy it from there and love it. Next up I used the Lumene Time Freeze Instant Lift Serum All Up. I loved this serum. I got it on sale at a discount store but I really really enjoyed it. It was very refreshing for my skin but it didn't feel like it was damaging it in any way and it also smelled really fresh and nice. And I was especially excited once I used this up because I'm going to reuse this bottle with a beautiful frosted glass for my almond oil, which I put under my eyes at night. And sometimes I feel like it's harder with natural products to really enjoy the process of using them because they don't come in fancy packaging like this. So I'm kind of excited to pamper myself a little bit using just sweet almond oil. So. Like I said, good product, and I'm excited to recycle this packaging. Here's another skincare item. This is the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Foam Cleanser. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly who would love this product. Someone who wants a cleanser that gets down to business, a very serious cleaning cleanser. Because when I use this, my face felt squeaky clean afterwards and personally I don't like that feeling I feel like it's a little bit stripping but I know that some of you do so if you are really into that kind of serious no-nonsense cleanser then you would love Estee Lauder is perfectly clean it had a pretty strong smell it's a little bit old lady smelling but I could definitely get over it especially because it was so strongly cleaning so I use this when I had a big full face of makeup on. Otherwise, I would use a more gentle cleanser, but I did enjoy this, although I don't believe I will repurchase. It literally sounds like my neighbor is doing calisthenics upstairs, which is fine, because we have to respect the fact that he needs to exercise and he's doing him, so we respect you. It's okay. One more skincare product that I have is the Face Shop's Calming Seed Skin Resting Cream. This is a sample in a set that I got and I really enjoyed it. It was, if you know anything about Korean skincare, they have a lot of times like puddings, like skin puddings that are even thicker than your average skin cream. And this is one of those. It was very thick and very moisturizing. It felt amazing and that's why they call it a skin resting cream because it's really only for the nighttime. It would be probably pretty uncomfortable to have on your face during the day when you're active and maybe sweating a bit. But I really enjoyed the sample that I got and I, well I don't believe I would repurchase because I have my staple CeraVe that I love to death. I still enjoyed having this and I would suggest it to really anyone who wants to try something new. Next up I have the Secret Clinical Strength Sport and the Secret Clinical Strength Invisible Solid Deodorants. I bought these I think because they were on sale and they worked fine but I really love my Degree Sport deodorant so I don't think I will be repurchasing either of these but they did serve their purpose. I also have a shampoo and conditioner. This is the Suave Sleek Shampoo and Conditioner. Really enjoy these. I have very long hair so I'm picky about my hair products and the conditioner worked well. I find that that's really where I will dislike a shampoo and conditioner set if the conditioner is not conditioning enough for my hair, especially my ends which are years and years old and they're dry so I need a conditioner that really works and I felt like this fit the bill, although it's not the most moisturizing I've ever had. 
and the shampoo is great. They smell amazing and they remind me of going on vacation with my boyfriend um, because that's the first place I use them so they bring back a lot of good memories when I smell them. So that's definitely probably another reason why I love them so much but I would recommend especially if you're looking for a cheap alternative that still has that salon quality and that moisturizing effect on your hair. Next up I have a bar of soap. This is the Dove Sensitive Skin Soap and I always use this. What I normally do is get a pretty and scented body wash for everywhere and then I use this bar soap on any sensitive bits that cannot handle any fragrance. Um, that's my system and I love this soap. It's also great if you want to clean your beauty blender. This is really the only thing I use to clean my beauty blender and it works very well and um, yeah, it's just perfect for sensitive skin if that's what you have. Then I have this Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion Ultra Moisturizing Hand and Body Lotion. I bought this as a little treat for myself after finishing a really difficult exam time when I was in college and I remember it well. It was around Christmas and I got myself this as well as the body spray and the regular body lotion and I just love this scent. I really associate it with pampering myself. The vanilla definitely wins out over the coconut, but it smells delicious either way. And the only thing I dislike about this product and the Victoria's Secret body lotions is that I notice they, they tend to separate a little bit, um, and pretty quickly too, so at the end of this product there was a lot of like wateriness, which I didn't like, but the scent is to die for, so I will repurchase. Then lastly I have three homemade body products, and I'm just going to throw them everywhere. Uh, the first is this Sweet Pea Coconut Lime Body Butter by Puddin' and Peanuts. I got this at a craft show. Oh, it's just kind of slippery. <laughs> I got it at a craft show, um, and I really enjoyed it. It was a very nice body butter and came with this cute little spoon. And Puddin' and Peanuts, as far as I remember, they don't normally... Oh, that smells terrible. Oh my god, that was that's super old. I shouldn't have opened it. Anyway, they don't really do that many body products. They're more of... Um, a jewelry seller so if you want to check them out it's cool they're on Etsy I believe but it was a very nice body butter while it lasted then the next product is this body lotion that my beautiful mom made for me and I totally wore off the front because I got the lotion on my hands and I was like kind of rubbing it on the bottle so I did bring my current one to show you it just says handmade lotion raspberry vanilla and she makes these all herself and puts on the little labels herself and prints them at her computer so I love these and I love the smell and I'm so thankful. Thank you mom for making me these amazing lotions. And um, yeah, I included this especially because I want to tell you guys that if you want to you can definitely make your own lotions and they're great as Christmas gift sets or birthday gift sets. So if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to make your own lotions or body butter, I also have a body butter here that I used up that I made myself. It was buttercream icing scented and I use these cute little birthday cake stamps and writing stamps that I bought at Michael's made my own label it says you're the icing on the cupcake so if you'd like to see how to make your own body lotions or body butters leave me a comment below and let me know because I can certainly do that it's a really fun thing to do and it's good because if you're like me then you like scents that maybe not everyone loves <laughs> so it's definitely helpful to be able to make your own it's really pretty easy so that was the last item. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me today to do my empties. I hope you enjoyed it and leave me a comment about whatever you would like. I would love to hear from you and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.